In this lesson, we're going to go behind the scenes to access and edit the strategy code from the strategy builder. And with two simple code edits, you'll see how to turn a strategy's entry conditions into a screener. You can use a screener to find the symbols in a dataset that currently match a given set of conditions. Since I said currently, I'll assume that you've already updated your end of day data. So let's start a strategy by adding a buy at market or a short at market order. A screener doesn't need to be a complete strategy. So we just need to stack our conditions on this entry order. And since the procedure won't change, let's keep it simple and just look for stocks whose fast moving average is crossing a slow moving average. And to make modifications easy, let's enable the parameter sliders. Once you're satisfied with the filter conditions, click open code and new strategy window. Now in the editor, scroll down until you see the for int bar equals statement. This is a looping statement that runs the strategy on all bars in the chart. But to make this a screener, we're only interested in running it on the final bar. To do that, comment out the for loop statement by typing two backslashes in front of it. Then add the statement int bar equals bars dot count minus one semicolon as shown. Click the compile button and the screener is complete. Let's run our moving average crossover screen on the NASDAQ 100 stocks. Again, we assume that you've already updated your data. So to speed up the process, make sure that the update data on demand option is off. Also to speed up screens, choose a small data range, but enough to make your indicators valid. Click on the data set and then the back test on all symbols button. The results of the screen will show up in the alerts tab. And with this set of parameters, we found only one symbol with a crossover. Let's try to get more results using shorter periods for the moving averages. This time, seven stocks match the filter. And by double clicking on an alert, you can quickly jump to the chart view where we can visualize that indeed the fast moving average is crossing over the slow moving average on the last bar. And finally, don't forget to save your screener as a strategy so that you can run it every day. Thanks for coming.